Clay Thompson was ranked just 53rd in ESPN's Top 100 for the 2008 high school class. However, Thompson quickly developed into one of the greatest shooters this game has ever seen. Despite Clay's 2023 playoff performance, he is still one of the most clutch postseason performers we've ever seen, earning the name Game 6 Clay for his repeated Game 6 heroics. Looking back, there were so many other talented players in this 2008 class, including Thompson's teammate Draymond Green and all-star guards Kemba Walker and Drew Holiday. But now, let's take a look back at what happened to every high school recruit ranked above Klay Thompson in ESPN's 2008 Top 100. At number one, we have Brandon Jennings. He played one year overseas and became the 10th pick in the 2009 draft. He spent his first four seasons with the Bucks and the next two with Detroit, and he had his best years with those two teams, but unfortunately, he was out of the NBA by 2018. At number two, we have Samardo Samuels. He played at Louisville for three years, then he played three years in the NBA after all with the Cleveland Cavaliers, and then he played pro overseas after the 2013 season. At number three, we have Tyreek Evans. He played one year at Memphis, then was drafted fourth overall by the Kings in the 2009 draft. He won Rookie of the Year and overall had a solid NBA career, but he was banned from the NBA for a few years in 2019 after violating their anti-drug policy. At number four, we have Drew Holiday. He played one year at UCLA, then he was taken 17th overall by Philadelphia in the 2009 draft. He played four years in Philly, seven in New Orleans, and he's played the last three in Milwaukee. He's probably one of the most underrated players of his time, and he's probably the best guard defender of this generation. At number five, we have BJ Mullins. He played one year at Ohio State. He was picked 24th overall in the 2009 draft to the Mavericks. Then he spent one year with OKC, two with Charlotte, then he spent the 2014 season with the Clippers and Philly. At number six, we have Jermichael Green. He played four years at Alabama. He went undrafted in 2012 and made his NBA debut in the 2015 season with the Spurs until Memphis picked him up. He's been a solid defensive-minded stretch big his whole career, and he was Klay Thompson's teammate during the 2023 season with the Warriors. At number seven, we have Tyler Zeller. He spent four years at North Carolina and was the 17th pick by Dallas in the 2012 draft. He debuted with Cleveland and had a solid NBA career mostly as a backup center. And he last played two games with the Spurs during the 2020 season. At number eight, we have DeMar DeRozan. He played one year at USC, then he was the ninth pick by the Raptors in the 2009 draft. He spent his first nine seasons with Toronto, then he was traded for Kawhi Leonard to the Spurs. He spent three seasons there and now he spent his last two seasons in Chicago. At number 9, we have Scotty Hobson. He spent three years at Tennessee. He went undrafted in 2011 and made his NBA debut with Cleveland in April 2014. He only played four total games in the NBA, but played one game for OKC during the 2022 season. At number 10, we have Willie Warren. He played two years at Oklahoma. He was drafted 54th overall by the Clippers in the 2010 draft. He played one season with the Clippers in 2011, but he never played in the NBA after. At number 11, we have Ed Davis. He spent two years at North Carolina. He was picked 13th overall by the Raptors in the 2010 draft. He had a really solid NBA career. He was a great rebounding backup center, and he last played for the Cavs in the 2022 season. At number 12, we have William Buford. He played four years at Ohio State. He never played in the NBA, but played professionally overseas for 10 years, and he last played overseas for the 2022 season. At number 13, we have Luke Babbitt. He played two years at Nevada. He was drafted 16th by the Timberwolves in the 2010 draft. He played his first three seasons with Portland, but had his best years in New Orleans. He was always a good three-point marksman throughout his career, and he last played with the Heat in the 2018 season. At number 14, we have Kemba Walker. He was with Charlotte until 2019 and spent four years in UConn before that, and he was picked ninth overall by the Hornets. Then after Charlotte's stint, he was with Boston until 2021, but then he was with the Knicks, then traded to Detroit, and he signed the Mavs on a 10-day contract during the 2023 season, but unfortunately his career was kind of derailed by knee injuries. Number 15, we have Delvin Rowe. He played three years at Michigan until he decided not to play anymore after some knee issues. He never played in the NBA, but after that he actually did become an actor according to Wikipedia. Number 16, we have Mike Rosario. He played for Rutgers University for two years, then he transferred to Florida and redshirted his junior year, then he played two more years there until 2013. He never played in the NBA, but then he played overseas for nine years until the 2022 season. Number 17, we have Al Farouk Aminu. He played two years at Wake Forest. He was drafted eighth overall by the Clippers in the 2010 draft. He played 10 years in the NBA and had his best years with the Blazers. He was always a solid 3 and D forward throughout his career. Number 18, we have Elliot Williams. He played one year at Duke and one year at Memphis. Then he was the 22nd pick by the Blazers in the 2010 draft. He missed his rookie season due to a knee injury, but played four years in the NBA, Portland in 2012, Philly in 2014, Utah and New Orleans in 2015, and five games for Memphis in 2016. 
Number 19, we have Sylvan Landisberg. He played two years at Virginia. He never played it in the NBA, but played a good chunk of his pro career in Israel. And then he played in China during the 2023 season. Number 20, we have Greg Monroe. He spent two years at Georgetown. Then he was drafted seventh overall by Detroit in the 2010 draft. He was a very versatile center who could kind of do a bit of everything, but he had his best years with the Pistons and the Bucks. He last played in the NBA for four different teams in the 2022 season. Number one, we have Trey Tompkins. ESPN's top 100 list says he committed to Georgia, but I kind of wasn't able to find his stats on that. He played one season with the Clippers in 2012, then he played in the VTB United League in 2015, then played with Real Madrid for seven seasons until 2022, then he played for a different team in the VTB United League for the 2023 season, and averaged 10 points and four and a half rebounds. Number 22, we have Michael Dunnigan. He played two years at Oregon, but he never officially played in the NBA, but it looks like the Grizzlies might have signed him at some point. He mostly played overseas, but he actually played in the G League with the Canton Charge from 2014 to 2017. At number 23, we have Emmanuel Nagedu. He played one year at Tennessee, then he suffered cardiac arrest while he was there. Unfortunately, Tennessee didn't clear him to play, and neither did Indiana. As far as I know, he never ended up playing professionally, but I couldn't really find much other information on him. At number 24, we have Drew Gordon. He played two years at UCLA and two at New Mexico. He went undrafted, but played nine games with Philly in the 2015 season. He mostly played overseas and played in Japan during the 2023 season. Number 25, we have Chris Singleton. He played three seasons with Washington. Then he played overseas from 2015 to 2018 with one stint in the G League in 2015, but he's been playing on the Anadolu FAs for the past four years, which is a professional team in Turkey. At number 26, we have Jamison Morgan. He played two years at UCLA, two at Baylor, but I couldn't find much other information on him, but he reportedly was drafted to the G League in 2015 and played in the Basketball Africa League during the 2020 season. At number 27, we have Tony Woods. He played two years at Wake Forest, then he transferred to Oregon and played two years there. Then he played professionally in Greece for four years and then never played in the NBA. At number 28, we have Dequan Jones. He played four years at Miami, then he went undrafted in 2012, but played 63 games for the Magic during the 2013 season. He never played in the NBA after, but he played in the G League and for many overseas teams, then he played in Japan in 2023. At number 29, we have Larry Drew. He played three years at UNC, then he transferred to UCLA and played one year there. He went undrafted in 2013, then played 12 games with Philly in the 2015 season. He also played 10 games for Philly and New Orleans during the 2018 season. Number 30, we have Yancey Gates. He played four years at Miami. He never played in the NBA, but had a long career overseas, and he played in Mexico for the 2022 season. Number 31, we have Malcolm Lee. He spent two seasons with Minnesota. He actually played one game with Philadelphia as well during the 2015 season. He played for many different overseas pro teams in various countries, but played in Greece from 2017 to 2020, in Romania from 2020 to 2022, but it's unclear where or if he played anywhere for the 2023 season. Number 32, we have Henry Sims. He spent four years at Georgetown. He went undrafted in 2012. And he made his NBA debut in March 2013 with the Pelicans. He played the 2014 season with Cleveland and Philly, 2015 season with Philly, and then he played the 2016 season with Brooklyn, but he hasn't played in the NBA since. Number 33, we have Darius Miller. He spent four years at Kentucky and he was drafted 46 overall by the New Orleans Hornets in 2012. He played a few seasons with the Pelicans until 2015. Then he came back to the Pelicans for the 2018 and 2019 seasons. Fortunately, though, he did get injured and only played 18 games with OKC after in 2021, but he was always a solid 3 and D player. Number 34, we have Kevin Jones. He played four years at West Virginia, then went undrafted. Then he played 32 games with Cleveland during the 2013 season, but never played it in the NBA after. He's been playing pro ball in Japan since the 2019 season. Number 35, we have Nick Williams. He spent one year in Indiana. Then he redshirted the 2010 season and transferred to Ole Miss. He played three years there and was never in the NBA, but is now an assistant coach at Northwest Mississippi Community College after playing professionally in Brazil and Canada. Number 36, we have Draymond Green. Spent four years at Michigan State, 35th pick by the Golden State Warriors in 2012. He's been there ever since and won four championships, possibly the best defensive player of this generation, and is the heartbeat of the Warriors. At number 37, we have Rashawn D. Harris. I couldn't find much info on him, but I found on his Facebook that the NCAA ruled him ineligible to play college basketball back in 2008, and I found out that he had been playing professionally in Australia. At number 38, we have Amon Shumpert. He spent three years at Georgia Tech. He was drafted 17th overall by the Knicks in 2011. His most notable years were with the Knicks and Cavs. Always a great defender, but kind of a streaky shooter. He had a great bounce back year with the Kings in 2019 before being traded to Houston. And then he had a few stints with the Nets in 2020 and 2021. At number 39, we have Torelli Pryor. He never played college basketball and instead played college football. He was actually stabbed in the chest and was playing basketball just one month after. He was in the NFL from 2011 to 2018 as a quarterback and wide receiver, but hinted that he could have played college basketball if he got an offer from Duke. 
At number 40, we have Sean Mosley. He spent four years at Maryland, went undrafted in 2012, but has been playing professionally overseas since. Wikipedia says he most recently played in the Israeli Basketball Premier League. At number 41, we have Eloy Vargas. He spent the 2009 season with Florida, then played the 2011 and 2012 seasons with Kentucky. He played for the Lakers G League team in the 2015 season, and last played professionally in Uruguay for the 2023 season, and he's been representing the Dominican Republic for their national team as of late. Number 42, we have Philip McDonald. He spent four years at New Mexico. Then he went undrafted, but it looks like he last played professionally during the 2013 season, but I really couldn't find much other information on what he did after. At number 43, we have Jeff Withy. He spent four years at Kansas, and he was picked 39th overall by the Blazers in the 2013 draft. He spent two years with the Pelicans, two with the Jazz, and last played nine games with Dallas in the 2018 season. At number 44, we have Kenneth Kaji. He spent two years at Florida. He redshirted the 2011 season to transfer to Miami. Then he played two years there. He went undrafted and has carved out a nice pro career overseas, and he played in France for the 2023 season. Number 45, we have Jason Clark. He spent four years at Georgetown. He went undrafted and never played in the NBA. He's had a nice pro career overseas and played in Italy during the 2023 season. At number 46, we got Rayford Shipman. I couldn't find much info, but reportedly committed to play college basketball at Florida. However, he was actually in the NFL on the Saints after going undrafted in 2013. Spotrack says he signed a three-year deal with them and went to Central Florida College previously. At number 47, we have Miles Pumley. He spent four years at Duke. He was drafted 26 overall by the Pacers in the 2012 draft. He spent one season with Indy and had his best season in Phoenix. Then he was traded to the Bucks the season after. He also played with Charlotte and Atlanta, and his last NBA season was in 2019. Number 48, we have Wesley Witherspoon. He spent four years at Memphis, then he played pro for a few years overseas until October 2014, and then he reportedly played in the basketball tournament in 2018 for Team Memphis State. Number 49, we have Jerome Anderson. He spent four years at UCLA. He never played in the NBA, but played for about a decade in various pro leagues internationally, and he last played pro in Mexico in October 2022. Number 50, we have Chris Joseph. He spent four years at Syracuse, then he was drafted 51st overall by the Celtics in 2012, and he played in the 2013 season with both the Celtics and the Nets, but he didn't play in the NBA again. At number 51, we have Romero Osby. He spent two years at Mississippi State. He redshirted the 2011 season and transferred to Oklahoma. He played two years there, and he was drafted 51st overall by the Magic in the 2013 draft, but he never played in the NBA. He played in the G League a few times and last played pro in Israel in 2016. And lastly, at number 52, we have Rodney Clark. He spent three years at Arkansas. He redshirted the 2012 season and transferred to Butler. He played his senior season there. He played the past decade overseas and played in Italy for the 2023 season. Thank you so much for watching the video. This took a long time to research, record, and make. So I appreciate the support, but let me know if you guys have any suggestions down below for any superstars you guys want me to do as far as their high school ranking and what happened to all the players drafted before them. So like I said, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.